instead. And there we go. We're prepped for it, see? We're ready for it. <laughs> okay, so uh, the first thing you've got to do is start early on maxing your resources out, especially your energy, especially if you're spending. And the reason for that is that, trust me, I've done this. Again, I'm trying to give you this information uh, from experience to save you guys from um, coming a bit of a cropper. Coming a bit of a cropper is an English phrase for, like, you know, for getting into trouble. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I start to max up my resources uh, early on and try to get my energy on full because it'll come to the event and you'll cut Lagoon and you'll get a bot to... 50 or 60 or whatever you go. All oh, right, okay. Right, um, cup lagoon him. Okay, so I'm going to put the uh, lagoon on cup. Oh, hang on a minute. I've got a, a rejuvenate core or cups G1 on him. I'm going to tell off. There's uh, one mil energy on. One mil energy on, got off. Okay, then I'm going to put this golden lagoon on. Oh, okay, right, cup is set. Right, I'm going to level blades to level 60. Right, okay, what I need to take is core off blades. One million. There's 2 million down. Okay, now I'm going to put the XP core on blades. Then you get blades to 60. Right, okay. I'm going to start on someone else now. So I'll take the I'll take that off uh, blades. 1 million. All of a sudden, 3 million energy on. Okay, right. Who should put it on? I'm going to put it on Laser Optimus. But then I've got his G1 core on. I'll take that off. 4 million energy on. You see where this is going, guys. Yeah, and that's just changing one bot to another one. If you're trying to level three or four bots over the weekend, eventually you're going to run out of energy on, you're going to start using your resources um, in your inventory. Yeah, you don't really want to do that. You want to save up for a rainy day when you really need them. So try and max out your energy on before the event, especially if you cut Lagoon in. Uh, so if you're switching cores, anything like that, it doesn't really matter. You're prepped and you're ready. You know what? If you don't use it, you can use it after the event. No problem. It's still sat there. But for the event, make sure it is sort of maxed out. Personally, I like to have at least about 6 million energy on, uh, in reserve. Uh, uh, alloy, sorry, not energy on. 6 million alloy in reserve, usually 8 million. Um, and the reason for that is that we usually war over the weekend. Now, if you're warring over the weekend, again, you've got to um, keep your shield generator active as well obviously uh, and so if you're doing that you don't want to be midway through your battles maybe have low inventory in your storages and go oh well i need some to do my shield so you know what i'm going to use these cells that i've bought for the event to go and get some alloy no 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 i can't say that enough no guys get your alloy full before the event get it ready sorted and my ability's put another good point there that if you want to uh, start researching your bots that hit 60 i mean it's not too bad you can wait till a couple of days after it's better hitting them in early but especially those 50 uh marks that you want to get them in the uh, uh in the lab that's quite costly as well that's another three million added on or another seven million added on so it mounts up max your storages out guys max your energy on up and get your ally pretty much full and you are ready for the weekend all set to go Okay, now let's be honest. If you're doing the event free to play and you're gonna run three teams, you can go one, two, three teams done. I'm just gonna rotate them all weekend done. You can say, Well, I'm just gonna do two bots all weekend. I'm gonna do cup lagooning, I'm gonna do cup, I'm gonna do one bot in zone 14. I'm sorted. And if that is the case, and that is all you're doing all weekend, easy. Yep, set your teams up, job done. But what about if you're warring? What you what you gonna do if you're warring? You're gonna use your war team, and then all these teams you set up, are you gonna coin them? Are you gonna coin these teams? If you're running teams, if you're running free to play. Do you do war at the same time? You know, there's all these sort of things that throw spanners in the work. So I set up two different ways. So first thing I do. So I set my teams up ready for leveling in zone 14. So ignore this one here. So this is one zone 14 team. I've got just Sea Spray and Rook. So honest with you, and I've set that up. So I've got Rook to pop the outpost and Sea Spray just to kill everything in sight. Uh, you should have one sort of bot that can take everything out in zone 14 and one bot to protect them or vice versa. Uh, so Rook to pop the outpost and then we've got Sea Spray. I've got a leader in there as a backup just in case. But this is pretty much 100% successful, right? 
Then we've got uh, Blaster and Slash. Uh, we're leveling Slash up. She is now level 30. Um, Laser Octopus will be out by tomorrow at level 51. And Red Alert, uh, I think over the weekend, will be out uh, by the time I've got Laser Optimus up. Um, yeah. But yeah, Slash will be going in next. But yeah, Blaster can pretty much solo. So we've set some teams up. Slash and Skyburst. Clear with Skyburst. Finish off with Slash. Uh, Goldfire, and then I can rush Sandstorm up, and he can heal Goldfire. Bumblebee and Rhinox. So Rhinox, put the outpost, and then Bumblebee to stun them all. You can see where we're going. Then we've got a few more teams. So I can set them up where I can do four or five runs of teams. What I tend to do is Cup Lagoon in. So I do Cup Lagoon, Cup Lagoon, Cup Lagoon, Cup Lagoon. Well, first of all, Sadly, no. I'll run through these teams first. Then I'll do Cup Lagoon, Cup Lagoon for an hour. Then I'll run through these teams, save some coins. Then Cup Lagoon again. And sort of do that every sort of hour. Just save some coins, get some more points in the bank. Uh, and Alpha Trion's asked, how would you get 45k with only three teams? Uh, I don't think you can get 45k with three teams totally free to play. Um, so, the idea is, if you want to spend just $10, say something like that, you use every single coin in that just for... Uh, refreshing your cells. You don't do it for cooldowns. So in that instance there, if you're going free if you're not going free to play and spending slightly, then you probably do five per hour. So you do five attacks per hour, five teams to them fourteen. Uh and keep going to get to zero and then once you get to zero and keep going, then you purchase more cells with eight hundred coins. So in a twenty dollar bundle uh you'll get five thousand coins uh, and 120 cells, is it? Is it 120? I think it is 110. Um, so yeah, you've basically got two and a half runs there extra as well. Um, and then with the 5,000 coins, you can buy an extra about eight runs as well. Uh, about seven actually, seven runs. So you've got an extra seven runs of cells. So by running them five teams, when you get to zero, you buy some more cells, you keep running the five teams every hour, and that way you can probably get about 40k, 45k, running about five teams an hour. What you don't want to do, guys, you don't want to run your cells right down to zero if you're free to play, because waiting for cells is a lot slower than cooldowns is so you want to keep it around the midway so three teams i think when we worked it out the ideal is to do four then three teams four teams and three teams four teams and three teams like that but uh yeah from what i've heard free to play you get about 40k free to play if you play every single hour hitting three and four teams every hour for around 19 to 20 hours a day if you can do that yeah Fair play. I can't. I'll be honest with you. I cannot do that. I don't know how these free-to-play guys do it. I've tried. I got about 25k. I gave up. Yeah. Uh, Alpha Dryon's got, got, they've got 8 teams for zone 13. If you do 8 teams in zone 13, you're going to do 8 attacks. You're going to wait an hour maybe. You're going to do 8 attacks. You run out of cells. You'll have to wait 3 hours for your cells to regen. Don't run too many teams you're free-to-play guys. Make sure it's 4 than 3 if you are totally free-to-play. If you're paying, then you ideally I'd want to run about five teams, ideally five or six, something like that. It depends how much you're going to spend. So you can set your teams up like that. Like I said, a few teams. I tend to, set, again, I run about seven teams, is it? Eight teams. Uh, and then couple of going, keep going like that. And that's how I save coins and how I sort of score quite quickly. Uh, SG Soundwave there has put, if you didn't get the opposite faction starter pack, get it for the 5k coins and it sells. Good point there that you can get some uh, decent rewards in those starter bundles even. So you can even get that if you haven't got them already. But, once you do a war attack, so if I do a war attack with these bots, all of a sudden my teams are gone. Because we've got Sea Sprayer and Rook there in that one there. We've got Blaster in one of these teams. We've got Bumblebee in one of these teams. So basically, all we're left with is Blades, Ratchet, and Wheeljack. And the only reason that Black Blades are in there is because he's maxed out. So you've got to think, like, if I do a war attack, then that's going to really knock my teams up. That's really going to make it difficult for me to use these teams. So what I'm going to do, do a war attack and wait an hour for myself to regen. Uh, if you're free to play, you don't need to do that. There's a very simple way around this. So here's what I tend to do. So what I'll do is we'll just go in. We'll just do a war attack. We'll do uh let's do prime zone. See if we do prime zone. So we're imagine this is the event. So we're mid event. A war's come on. Psyops against whoever you want. So we've got to do our our war event. Uh 
Oh, okay. Very easy base. Should we try and beat with less players? No, we need to drop them all, don't we? We need to drop them all. Let's just sea spray it, eh? Sea spray! Sea spray! Da -da 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 -da. Sea spray! Sea spray! Name that tune! Can you name that tune? No, it's not a sea spray tune. What tune was that? Put it in the chat. Obviously not the actual word, the words are a bit different, but you get the tune. Sea spray, sea spray, da -da 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 -da. sea spray, sea spray. It's definitely one for the older viewers. <laughs> Just gonna sea spray the heck out of it. Sea spray, sea spray, da -da 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 -da. sea spray, sea spray. That's my new song for sea spray. Hope you like it. Let's say just sea spray in that. Yeah. I won't swear. But yeah. Ah, Matt Paul has got it. Matt Paul has got it. It's not the Sea Spray theme song, Matt's SG song. It's my Sea Spray theme song. But it's not the Sea Spray theme song. It's actually Stingray. Yeah. The old Stingray tune. <laughs> Seen before my time. That's an old program. Yeah, the few guys. No, it's not the Beatles, my bird, you know. Definitely, it's definitely a Stingray theme tune. I'm, I'm glad that my singing's that good that you recognize it. Okay, so, and the reason I do that attack as well before the event is so I know exactly. I mean, you should know who's on your war team, but. Okay, so now we're going to set up some more teams. So now what we're going to do is. So now what we're going to do is, I'm going to show you how I set my teams up generally. But what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to set some teams up, but I know which bots I can't use. They're all blacked out. I'll do this for the event. I'll do an award attack, I'll do an attack in a zone 15 or something. Just so I know which bots I can't use. And now I know that if I make three teams out of all the bots that are left, then I know my war team's free. My war team's free for the weekend. So I can do a war attack. So if we hit a war and it's not tracked, then I can keep going with these guys, you know. No problem, I can keep going. You can see there a lot of these bots are, you know, already took. So, even these teams here. So, you know, you're going to struggle a bit. So, but I know if we hit a war, instead of doing these six teams, if you're especially if you're free to play doing these four teams, I can go, you know what? I can switch back to this team. I can do this war attack. And I can switch to these three teams and just go with these three teams. Remember, if you just attack with three teams, it maintains your cells. So if you're halfway down, again, you don't want to get to that point where you'll get into 50 either or to zero. So if you get your cells around the 20, 30 mark, well, ideally about 20, 25. Uh, and you can hit a war, do three attacks, come back in an hour, do a war attack, do three attacks. Hopefully you can still do this in the same zone that you're attacking anyway. Uh, you get your war attacks in, you're getting XP, you're not losing points. Bish, bash, bosh. So yeah, best, best of both worlds. So I do this, like I said, before the event, to set up for the event. So how I set my teams up. So uh, it's important that you always start with your tanks. I've seen some people setting teams up and you'll see like jet fire in there and you'll see a healer behind him or something no no listen when you drop your bots the first bot that gets targeted by the defenses is the first bot you drop or the fastest on the land pad if you're that good you can look at how quick they are but generally i just to save all that i drop my tank i wait a split second then drop the rest and you know that the defenses are going to target that bot uh so generally uh so let's go with the tank first so what tank are we gonna go with so, uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to do just four stars. How's that? So, we'll go with Sentius first. Then we'll go with Star Saber. Then we'll go with Alita. And now what I do, I went way backwards. So, I'm going to do another tank. So, uh, I need someone that can pop Outpost. So I've got someone there. Uh, Sentius can pop Outpost. So, in fact, I'm going to put Dinobot with him. Uh, Star Saber is quite costly. So, I'll put Rook with him. Uh, and Alita can jump half the map. So, a good tank to go with Alita. Uh, we'll go Optimus. There we go. So we've got two tanks on each. Now we're going to stick a gunner in. So I want a sort of AOE gunner as such, or AOE bot. So we'll stick uh, Skylinks in there as an AOE bot. Uh, Rook's slightly AOE, so this AOE could be a bit of a cleanup instead. So 
Um, we'll put, probably sweep in there as well as a gunner stroke cleared up. Uh, we've got Al's Pulse Popper. We need some sort of AOE in there. So an AOE gunner. Um, oh, God, I've got a pair. I forgot about this. Um, we could put Sandstorm in there. Yep, okay. Now we need a one shot in there. So we can put. Uh, let's have a look. So we haven't got any one shots in there. So let's put a one shot in there. We'll put a jet fire in there. Uh, a one shot in there as well. Uh, we can put Prowl in there. Uh, and then a one shot in there. Um, we can put four star jet fire. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the overall power of the squad. So we've got 13k. We've got 12k. 13, 14k. So this one's really strong at the minute. Uh, I know power's not beyond end all, but this is quite weak. So I'm going to look at putting someone a bit strong in here. So let's have a look who we've got that's quite strong. So let's put Elita in there. She's quite strong in there. Uh, another tank. Um, so we've got a healer in there, a good uh, utilization bot. So let's put just someone decent in there. We don't need another gunner, really, but uh, I could put tracks in there. Uh, no, we don't need tracks because we've got some sort of protection in there. So we can add in. We got in Silver Bolt. Yeah, we've got two one shots, not the end of the world. Um, and then because we haven't got any protection in here, that's where we put tracks in. There, like that. Okay, and then we're going to try and put some healers in. So we're going to put a four star healer in there. Then we're going to put a four star healer in there. Again, if you don't have all these healers, guys, then you know, maybe one with Sandstorm, you leave a healer out. You know, it's not essential if you've got a support bot like that. If you've got uh, the likes of tracks in, then yeah, maybe you don't need them. We've got a healer in each. Again, what I'm going to do is check the strength 20k, 19 and a half. 20k so now we'll try and stick a stronger bot in there uh we've got three tanks but they're quite rushing bots they're gonna go far away so let's try and put in a standing tank so we can put sludge in there that should do it um what do we need in here i think we could do another tank i think another tank will be all right um in fact we'll put chromia in there to support good support bot chromia oops back there and uh, in here we can uh, we can put gold fire in there, and then what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put uh, smoke screen in there because it's a good cleanup bot. And then our highest bot next. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, let's put uh, a good cleanup bot in there. Cheeto to clean up from Star Save, maybe quite cheap. And then who do we put in here? There we put in. Yeah, I think the only one left is Skyburst, I think. So there we go. So you can see there that I've still got... I mean, it says Zone 15, but it's going to be half to Zone 15. But you only need 20k to do Zone 14, guys. Um, we did say we're going to do only 4 stars. So we can take these guys out. Let's just take these 5 stars out, eh? Just to prove it can be done. We've got to put Skydive in there. Take Skyburst out. We can put 6 gun in there. There we go. Take Sandstorm out, take a gunner out, put Red Alert in, a good uh, support bot. So there we go, 20k team. Let's take Elita out of there. Uh, decent four star tank. Um, put Rhinox, he can pop some outposts as well and clear up the Star Saber. Uh, another good tank is that a Sludge. Uh, probably a stand up tank, like I said. So we can put a uh, Radimus in there as well. Not put Ultra Magnus in there. God, no. And then uh, a good cleanup bot, a good clean, good cheap cleanup bot. So we could put four star gold fire in there as well. There we go. And then uh, smoke screen, we could change smoke screen out for Sun Streaker. And then gold fire can come out for do, 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 Sea Spray, I think. Yeah, we lost a tank, but gained a gunner. But it's still good. So you can see there, yep, yeah, we took the five stars out. Yep. Yeah. 25k. We got Prowl in there. We can change him out for Springer. Good support bot as well. That's a strong team, isn't it? 25k. But hey, it'll do. So there we go. Still got three zone 14s out. But yeah, listen, if it's zone 13 that you're, um, you know, battling in zone 13, then all you need is your war team, whatever league you're in, 
And then three zone 13 teams, if you want. That's it. Dead simple. You know, you just set your teams up, like I said, around your war team. So you can have them, and then you can have your team set up as you would do normal. So look, I've got my team set up still. So in 50 minutes, I can still run these teams again if we have no war attacks. That's no problem. Yeah, but if we get a war in, we can set up. And we've got our war team still set up in slot one. And then we can carry on regardless. Now, I would tell everyone, really, to set up a couple of goons in slot one. So, really, ideally, you'd probably set your war team up in zone two, to be honest with you. And then three, four, and five, the other ones. And the reason for that is that many a time that I've been... Um, many a time I've been... I'm just I'm trying to read the chat until it's a train of thought. Uh many a chat I've been cut lagoon in. Uh, I've had it in slot fourteen and then for some reason it's jumped back to number one. I've hit the button to go attack and I've got my war team. And I'm like, well no, I don't want to use my war team. So I've backed out and obviously just waste five cells. It's not the end of the world, but if you keep doing that over a weekend, that could probably be one thousand, two thousand points. So, you know, it's good to put a uh, cup in slot one. I don't want to cover that too much. It's all in my cup lagoon in video. I recommend everyone go and check that out. Uh, let's see. Is there any questions in the chat? If you've got any questions, then make sure you put them in the chat, guys. And I'll try and cover the best I can. Um, what does the four-star part ability do anyway? Uh, I think it just unlocks more abilities, basically. If I'm not wrong, I can go and double check. Uh, but yeah, and then obviously makes it stronger, more health, more damage, things like that. Yeah. So, let's have a look at my Titan. So, I'm just going to let the dog out. <laughs> dog reveal. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so the as the four star, you get the uh, death ray as an extra ability, so that will be unlocked. Uh, so when we're fighting the when you're fighting the four star Trypticon, um, it does hit you with the death ray. So you've probably seen that um, in that battle. If you're a Decepticon, you've obviously seen the um, Metroplex death ray. Uh, so that opens as a four star. So you as a three star, you'll still keep these two abilities. Your health will still go up, but it won't be as much as this. Uh, whatever level the three star matches the four star, it won't be as high as the four star. Sadly, it'll be quite lower in terms of damage and health, and you won't get the death ray either. Uh, I presume you'll still get the same. So uh, unlocks at level twelve, so you can still get all the perks at level twelve. Um, but as the four star, as that gets to level sixteen, and you can open the bouncing beam, the three star won't be able to get the bouncing beam. So the bouncing beam, you'll be able to get. Uh, the slowdown and the titan speed you won't be able to get these three abilities as the three star only with the four star part um <laughs> the hell is this is on 16 bits i don't know i was surprised myself <laughs> um any more questions in the chat You missed the newsletter bit. Have you seen the Titan update news? Yeah, so uh, I thought I'd cover that not too sure. But yeah, the Titan uh, three-star part can go up to level 15 now. Uh, I'm sure I covered it. But yeah, go to level 15 now. So yeah. Actually, well, Sunstreaker using Sunstreaker. <laughs> Uh, Alpha Transport. If I'm playing a high zone in Zone 13, should I use a lot of combiners to be able to go to Zone 14? You can do occasionally to push your points, um, but you're not going to be able to do it all weekend. It's not sustainable. I mean, if you've got all the combiners, which is six, I think. Is it six, seven? Uh, let's have a look. And I can do a Titan update. I can do a combiner update even. So, combiner wise, so one, two, that's even if you have that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoa. 
eight combiners. So yeah, you've got eight combiners. That's ten or each. That's eighty. Then you can't use them for another twelve hours. So it's eighty every twelve hours. If you've got every single one, it helps you to do zone fourteen. Um, but I find that most people have three or four. Maybe they can do zone fourteen and help you to a good standard to do fourteen. Uh, it's a big jump from thirteen. Uh, you get a lot of uh, max HQ seventeens in there. Not max bases, but HQ seventeen bases in there and shield gens and combiners and stuff like that. Uh, so it can be troublesome. Um, but yeah, it's not sustainable all weekend. It might be good for the first day to try and push your points, but uh, it's not sustainable all weekend. It is here and there. Um, I tend to do a couple of goon in. I tend to not use a combiner. I'll maybe here and there, but I, I try and save my combiner or for the, um, especially on the last day for my walls the next week. You don't want to run it down to zero and then start the next week on the Monday and then be short on all for your walls. So you've got to take that consideration. Depends if you use your combiner for walls or not and how much you're into walls, I suppose, but yeah. Um so you could use one combiner for four teams, four attacks. Uh you can get I'd say get five or six in if you are very lucky. You can definitely get five in. You can definitely get maybe get six. Uh but you've got to think your cells there. So you could use a combiner every hour maybe, but then after eight hours you then got to drop that down to zone thirteen because after eight hours all your titans have made been took up with 10 ability 10 or 13 do you start using 25 and it's gonna go down very quickly so is that as well um berserks asks what kind of support squad do you put in place for your lagoon team uh okay so i've sort of covered this in the lagoon video i can sort of touch up on it uh, it all depends on who you're leveling so let's presume and do some cut lagooning right now so I want to do uh, so I'll put cup in squad uh, one. So if I'm use if I'm leveling someone like Elita, or I'm using losing I'm using a leveling sorry, um, someone like Sentis or Star Saber. So someone with high HP. What you could do is you can pop the outpost with cup, and then when the outpost pops, you can move cup, and that bot's ability will then go and target the other bot. Now, again, like I said, if you're using a high HP bot, you can do that. Um, and then Cup's free to do whatever he wants and probably take down the HQ. Because you've got enough time because it's going to take them quite a while to take that bot down. But if you're leveling someone like Trax, so Trax HP is 16,000 or Skyburst is only 10,000 even, especially. If you're, if you're leveling someone with low HP, then they're going to die quite quickly. And then once they've, they've killed those, they're going to walk back up to Cup and then go and probably kill Cup as well. Uh, there's two things in Cup Lagoon that are massively uh, pain in the rear end. Uh, number one is outposts, well three I'd say. Outpost bots is definitely number one, definitely something to avoid. The MDS with its plasma setting is definitely an actual nightmare. And sharks, uh, the spider mines, they're definitely the three things to look out for. And we've seen a lot of them more in HQ17. Um, so you've obviously got to consider that. Um, but in terms of long range, yeah, you can use long range bots, uh, especially likes of small screens, sort of take them bots out. Uh, you can use the likes of, you know, um, Jetfire maybe to take up some key defenses, depending on how far away, um, you know, how far it is from the HQ. It all depends. You can maybe use Elita as a support bot, but you've got to think that whenever you use his abilities, that's taking points away from Cup. So if you use Cup and he's, you know, if you use it all you can and say his next ability uses 14 ability points, uh, and you've got four or five or six, you're not going to get them 14 to be able to jump again. So at that point, you might be able to use another bot just to, you know, support him. Um, but try and use all the abilities you can for Cup. Don't try and sack a base and then drop Cup and things like that. Keep it this simple, guys. Get Cup straight to the HQ. Have a bot to either uh, take the um, abilities away or take out key defenses. I've also tried putting Springer with him. Springer just dies within five seconds. You don't get much use out of him either. So don't try and do a support bot in that sense. Uh, you can use, like I said, long distance bots to take out key defenses, and that does work as well. Uh, but don't. I wouldn't then make that influence who I take, because if you're taking Cup, and you're leveling Laser Optimus, who's not going to really be able to support Cup, you don't want to take a third bot. The Golden Lagoon's on Cup, the XP core, XP core is on Laser Optimus, you don't want a third bot, because then you're taking XP away from Laser Optimus. So, you only take a, the only bot you need to consider is the bot with the XP core, um, and that is your support bot, whatever you're leveling. 
sadly. You can't pick and choose. I mean, you could say, like, oh, I'm going to pick this guy because he also does it as a support bot, but I wouldn't do that personally. I pick who I'm going to level. And that's it. That's the bot I'm using. I don't really take many support bots because I want to maximize the XP. Because you also got to think, you can say, like, oh, well, what if you lose a couple of gooning? What would you do? Drop a full team? No, because to honest with you then, if you lose with cup but take out a good chunk of the base you're getting obviously less you're not getting any points uh, but you still get xp for that you still get xp for them battles uh, you've got to keep that in mind so you know if you drop a full team you lose that xp and whatever you drop a full team and still lose then you've wasted a lot you know waste a lot of xp for them bots so in zone 14 a level 61 8 cup could do zone 14 very very easily i mean it's jump 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 fast forward that's honestly how easy it is and how I say to people, listen, go and check out that Lagooning video because it's so good in terms of helping you level. Uh, in zone 15, it's more um, dropping cup. Well, before you even drop cup, look at the base, scouting the base. Is it worth backing out even? You know, if it's a max base and there's a combiner near the HQ with outpost and spider mines and MDS, back out. You're not winning that battle. It's not even worth the 60 coins that it costs to coin cup. It's not worth it. So, in that sense, what I'll do, I'll just back out and waste the five cells and that's it. I'm not wasting any coins. Um, but, you know, if you're confident, you know, look which side the shield gen's on. A couple of times, I've jumped cup and I've got, oh, the shield's on and the shield gen's on the other side and I've wasted a jump. I'm to jump to the side of the map. So, look at what side of the map the shield gen's on. So, it's little things like this in zone 15 that do slow you down. If you look at my uh, 5,000 points video in 30 minutes, I do zone 14. That's the fastest and most efficient way to guarantee points and get points quickly. Uh, but if you're looking at XP, zone 15 is the way to go. So it all depends on you guys. Listen, if you're throwing quite a bit of money at this game this weekend uh, and your focus is mainly on leveling bots, if you've got two or three bots you want to level, then I consider zone 15 if you've got a maxed out cup. Uh, but you've got to remember, you're only going to have a 60% success rate on that. So it's 220 points uh, per battle. 60% um, success rate over 10 battles. Um, you are going to get about... Um, try to do some quick maths there now. 224, 46, 60. About 1,300 points. Whereas those 10 battles in zone 14 will get you 2,000 points. So basically, you're losing quite a lot of points doing zone 15. But it's double the XP, even more. Maybe even two and a half times XP. So, yeah, you're going to burn more se more cells getting the points you need. But you're getting a lot more XP. You've got to level the bots faster. So you've got to ask yourself, do I want to level bots more, prioritize? Or do I need bots, uh, points? What is the priority? Points or XP? And then choose. If it's XP, zone 15. If it's points, do zone 14. I hope that's cleared it up. <laughs> Um, William Wilkinson has asked, What core does your four star jet fire? Uh, EO core, surely. Yep, EO core. I could actually put a G metal on him, actually. Um, sorry, sorry, Atari. Um, but yeah, I could actually put uh, the other G metal on him. I've got a jet fire G metal spare there, I could put that, but I don't use a four star that much, so I might just leave that on him might as well. Um, yeah, I've got, I've got the Chrome Jet Fire, but uh, yeah, it's bit, obviously on my 5 star, I'm not leveling another one. It's a nightmare to level. Um, any more questions? Never a bad time. Yeah, well, my laser Optimus literally is um, level 50, 11 with a 18G metal and level 6 rat trap. So, um, yeah. Uh, what does the Photon Beam do? I don't know. Yeah, I imagine it's a bit like a uh, Superion's Beam. I imagine. Oh, Matt Paul, yeah, you got it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but me, Mice has put, yeah, 37.5k will probably get, can't get you into a finishing alliance for this event anyway. Yeah, I think it would. 37.5k would. It's a bit late now. Should be making preparations early, but I think it can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure 37.5k will do it. I'm not going to the maths, but yeah. Uh, Atari's asked, what's my tech tree priority? My tech tree priority, makes sense, is always attack and always my war team. Always think about your war team and what bots you've got in your war team. I mean, like I said, war's a big deal for me. So um, it's what we prioritize in my alliance and psyops. 
Uh, obviously, events are important, but wars are vital. Uh, it's what we judge our player base. Uh, events, not so much. More on what they're doing wars. So uh, that's priority for me. So in terms of the tech tree, so you can see here that um, warrior attack, um, I've not unlocked that. For the simple reason that you've got to look at the odds and you've got to play the numbers a bit. So warrior attack is quite low. They normally have about 300 DPS. So 3% of that is about 10 DPS. Are you going to notice 10 DPS? Even at level 5, it's 3, 6, 9, 12, 15%. Uh, at 15%, you're probably looking at about uh, 45 DPS. It's not really worth it. Uh, you're not going to get much. Even if you've got, you run two warriors, which most people don't run more than two. No specials, just two warriors. It's 90 DPS. You can get more than that just by leveling your combat up one level. So I don't see the point in opening that. I use Blaster's Minions a lot. A lot. Now, my minions all together have 60k health. Uh, 60k health. Just the minions. Forget Blaster. 60k health. Yeah, the 15k each minion. That's how a maxed out Blaster um, runs. With ability level, of course. So, 15k per thing. So, if I can get an extra 15% out of that, 15% of 60,000 is an extra... Six that nine thousand HP on the map, so minions really important for me. I use Blaster a lot, and I'm sure if you ask Tex, he'll say the same about Blaster. So uh, minion health is very important to me. So I can see there increase ability minions, spot health. So yeah, uh, gun at ability damage simply for C spray. C spray is ridiculous, but sometimes it leaves some defenses with a slight slither of health so yeah very important that i leveled that up uh combined attack is literally for mega supreme just crazy damage anyway but just make sure as it can one shot things with his lightning bolt and stuff so maybe a bit op but with a uh, hu 18 maybe coming up at some point you know having your combiners really powerful is going to be a really uh, important thing uh combat attack now this, this is not for the actual combats as in like um night stalker and things like that it's more for stripes because it also does heal as well so 10 percent extra healing to one bot from stripes although you can say well that's not beneficial that's not a lot that was a but you know 10 percent uh over a whole battle which stripes obviously does then yeah it does matter up. you could probably say that about the warriors yeah it does matter up over a whole battle uh but it's not just that it's the healing of you know stripes Coupled with my Cronus, coupled with the healers, coupled with healer abilities, you know, all these sort of things sort of, uh, you know, go towards a lot of health. Uh, medic health. Uh, the reason I put medic health up, you can say, like, we don't need medic health. Uh, if they start getting hit by anything, then obviously the more health they've got, the longer they will last. Simple as that. And sometimes your healers do start getting hit by some sort of building or something, and uh, they need some emergency repair, and just a bit of extra health just sort of helps them get through that. Uh, and combiner health for the same sort of reason. Uh, special class health. Uh, again for the same reason. Uh, blaster. It adds uh, an extra three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen percent onto blaster, and then that three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen percent filters into his minions. It gives them an extra uh, percentage as well. Although it's only my my new maybe for blaster. Um, over him and all the minions, probably an extra ten k health. Uh, just by upping blaster's health himself. So. Uh, you got to remember that whatever you up here by 3%, that's 6% on the minion's health because there's four of them. So, yeah. Um, warrior ability damage, that's simple for Rook. Uh, like I said, because Rook can kill um, build bots at the minute. And I think that when they bring out some sort of effect, which they will at some point, which brings out some sort of ability resistance or increased health, then we'll obviously have to up Rook's damage. But yeah, the more damage you can get from Rook's ability, the better. In terms of coming forward in the the attack um, tech tree, uh, gunner health, yes. Uh, medic walking speed, yes. Warrior beam resistance, no, not really. I don't see the point in that. If your warrior is getting hit by a beam laser, you can reduce it by whatever you want. I mean, it's 10%, but if your warrior is getting hit by a beam laser, I'd be worried already. You should be worried straight away. So, yeah. Uh, air class laser resistance again. Why would you want laser resistance? Uh, okay, it can reduce it by four, eight, twelve, twenty percent maybe, but they're gonna get men's by them air defenses, so why bother? Uh, special class attack, yeah, I'll probably uh, have that. Medic range, yes, medic heal, yes, combined ability damage, yes, air class ability damage, yes, uh, gunner attack, 
Um, DPS, yes, because that filters into abilities, I think. So that will increase ability as well. So especially with 10%. Uh, you can see how this uh, tech tree as well is filtered towards gunners rather than air bots. So yeah. Special class ability damage, then yes, definitely. Warrior stun immunity. Maybe, but at five cost for just rookie my team. What's that going to get me? You know, um... Unless it filters into Laser Optimus. There is some points where it filters for Laser Optimus and filters up uh, for... So it's a warrior It's a warrior stun immunity, but sometimes it filters into some special bots as well. Um, and it all depends. If it filters into Laser Optimus and Blaster or Blaster even, then yeah, I'll probably get that. But just for Rook, five points, I don't think it's worth it. Uh, air class attack, uh, maybe. I think air class bots... Oh no, that's just DPS. Uh, if that increases ability damage... Because it filters through, then yeah. Same with the gunner attack. If not, then no. Uh, warrior health, yeah. Uh, you can never moan about health and more bots. So yeah. Uh, and gunner range, definitely. I'd definitely increase that. Uh, you got to remember though, if you increase gunner range, it decreases their ability range. So I wouldn't... If you use Prowl in your war team or Sunstreaker or someone like that with quite short range or six gun, I'd consider not unlocking that. To be honest, it's not something you can turn on and off. So I'll consider not unlocking it. Uh, but if you use the likes of Smoke Screen and um, Sea Spray, bots with long reach, Warpath, bots like that, then yeah, I'd consider it. Um, defense then, after that, defense is next. Uh, I'm going to pretty much upgrade everything on this uh, tech tree. Uh, walls is definitely next next week. Um, is there anything that I won't do? Let's have a look. Electric damage resistance. No, I probably won't do that. Oh, that's a good one. Resource damage building reflection. Oh, that's interesting. That'd be good. Uh, fire damage resistance. Yeah, I guess top shot be pretty good, but only 5%. This should be higher. It should be like 10%. It needs to increase some of these. Uh, shock tower hack immunity. Yeah, I'll I probably do all these defense ones. Um, and then Titan perks is the interesting one. So I am going to do this. It's low, on my, um, it's low on my list of what to upgrade. It will help me when I get the four star and get past that level 15 Titan. But for now, I don't need it. I've said it numerous times in different instances that only use resources when you need them. I don't need a resource attack. I could get to that four star um, battle, the four star trips gone battle without this. So I don't need to upgrade anything here now, right now. I don't need to. Titan Inspire abilities, five points. Uh, but for me, the Titan Inspire ability is quite awful. I'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, Rejuvenate increase. It's 0.2% every five seconds. So over a minute, you get an extra 2%, 2.5%. So, you know, 2.5% health over 10 extra over a minute. So, all oh, battle, an extra 7% health for whatever it is. I don't know, 3, 5 ability points eventually. It's just not worth it. So, we'll be unlocking that. Titan bot attack. I don't want my Titan to attack the bots. If my Titan attacking the bots, I've won. And it'll be focused on defenses. So I don't need to attack bots. Same with combiners. Titan combiner attack. I don't want it to attack the combiner. Let's be honest. You drop the combiner. It dies eventually. So why do you need a Titan combiner attack? Uh, Titan defense attack. Again, I'll unlock that once I can get past the level 15 Trypticon. The second I get past the level 15 Trypticon, that will get unlocked. And I'll be able to judge that, obviously, within a level or two. So when I get close to that, when mine's around 13, 14, yeah, I'll probably unlock that along with that. So I can get through the next bases quicker. Um, but until then, I'm pretty much done with this tech tree until I get my four star to level 14. That's all I'm unlocking. Um, further down, Titan increased protection. Uh, yes, increased fire resistance. To bots, is it? I don't know. Stand still? What's that? Stand still? what that is titan attack uh increase your titan's damage against titan so yeah i definitely unlock that titan health yeah definitely unlock that and increase speed um titan speed increases your allies moving attack speed 
is this the bots or the titan? They need to clear some of these up. They're a bit confused and bit, not very clear. Uh, and then they're quick as well. Uh, let's talk about the Inspire ability. I've told all the guys in PsyOps, do not unlock the, the Inspire ability. I'll tell you why. So, so the Inspire ability. When defeating a Titan, you provide 20% damage up to your allies for 30 seconds. So, when you beat the opposing combiner, so you, you beat the opposing combiner, then after that, you will get a 20% damage reduction. So, if you've if you beat the opposing combiner, then you've got a combiner there to help you out anyway with the battle. But usually that's like two minutes into the battle. It's not at the beginning. It's usually towards the end of the battle. It takes quite a long time. So, so for me, it's a lot like Onyx in the sense that for most of the battle, it'll have no effect at all, this Inspire ability. Um, and you can say like, well, yeah, it's only like a few. It's, it's five ability points. It's five tech tree points to have something that only operates when the opposite combiner dies. What if, you, if your combiner dies, you get zero effect at all. And again, it's I don't like Onyx for that reason. For most of the battle, it doesn't do anything. The, them tech tree points can be better spent on attack, which will get you better results in wars than unlocking 20% damage reduction for 30 seconds most of the way through the battle where probably the battle's over either way. Either you're close to HQ and probably close to beating it, or you're probably pretty much dead already. So, I personally wouldn't uh, unlock it. I'm going to unlock the Titan Inspire ability when I could unlock this. Because you've got to think that there's not many passive ability, attack ability, attack ability, uh, passive ability, rejuvenate, attack ability, passive ability, attack ability, passive ability, and the next one is the inspire ability is at level 20. So you've got to max your four star out before you get the next one. So I don't need the inspire section until I get to level 20. So again, another reason not to touch that on the tech tree. I hope that's cleared it up, Atari. Um, Atari, what's the fastest way to level Rhinox? Uh, considering it can, I'd it depends what level is that. Uh, obviously, soloing with Golden Lagoon. Um, but I've heard that if you don't need a Golden Lagoon, you can literally just use his G Metal Core if you've got it. If you've got his G Metal Core, uh, Rhinox can do Zone 14 pretty consistently. Um, the only struggle is Outpost Bots. Um, if you could dodge Outpost Bots, then perfect. If you want to level him with Smoke Screen, you can do uh, Rhinox and Smoke Screen in Zone 14 with pretty much 100% success rate. So if you want to level Smoke Screen this weekend and Rhinox, you can put the XP core on Smoke Screen and just use Rhinox. Or you can just try and solo a Rhinox. Rhinox can combine 100% in Zone 14. I'd, I'd say Rhinox in Zone 14 is probably about 90%, 95% success rate. It depends on Outpost Bots. If you pop quite a few at once, it can be problematic while he's battling one. The other ones are hitting you quite hard, but then you can't, you can't, you know, work on that before you attack, can you? Really, you don't wake up again, so it's going in blind. Um, yeah, that's a good point, Silver Bolt. He's put I bring E1 and a jet along just in case Cup dies and the HQ is slightly alive. Yeah, you can do in that instance some sort of long distance spot. Uh, that can target the HQ. Make sure you got a, a decent boost. Don't use your boost until after Cup um, has died. You know, just in case you got it for that reason. But yeah. Um, Action Wells asked if uh, Cup Lagooning is uh, possible f uh, for free to play, guys. It is, but it's not effective. It's pretty of a waste. Um, but yeah, you know, Cup Lagooning uh, is pretty much paid to win. Ideally, uh, you could put it on cup, but then you're getting one bottle an hour. So over 24 hours, you're only getting 24 battles out of it. You get a lot of XP for the 24 battles, but with your spending, you can get hundreds of battles out of there. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's a good point. That's what Phil's put. Yeah, you can't keep it going because you can't skip cooldowns, you see. So and you can't transfer cup without calling him. So, yeah. Uh, Moomai has put for the top players, can you farm zone 15 with near 100% win rate during weekends of all teams? No. 
Um, I don't think anyone could do a, hundred, a zone 15. Someone said to me that they could 3-bot zone 15. I said, no, that ain't happening. I want proof of that. Not with 100% win success rate. Maybe 60, maybe 70 with certain three bots. Um, but no, I could do two bots in zone 14. I thought anyone could do three bots in zone 15. Uh, and I'd wait to see proof of that. But yeah. And I was also told it was free to play as well, which made me think, I don't know about that. Um, yeah, Grand Tan says he always has Warpath as backup for Cup Lagooning. If Cup dies and there's Sliver left, kapow! Do you like my impression? Kapow! <laughs> Atari cries at four stage if I wear Gmail. <laughs> that poor is asking me to put my Gmail on a two star. <laughs> Atari's put, can we see you in your alliance as 26k medals? It ain't me, that's for sure. Uh, I'm sure it's you, Atari, but are you at the top? Nope. Yeah, you are. You're not at the top, though. You're 26. You're still lagging behind. But yeah, that's still a good achievement, 26. And I'm right at the bottom on 11k. So more than double what I've got. But I'm getting 10 medals per battle. So I've literally gone up by 1,500 medals in a month and a bit. Still over you know, six weeks, I think. So, yeah. Um... <laughs> Bling bling's putting Stingray. It's Stingray. It's Stingray. <laughs> Song Stingray? <laughs> You're a bit late, bud. You're a bit behind. <laughs> um... Thanks for doing the stream, but I don't have alert enables for it. Really? I'll check on that. I thought I did. I thought I did. I apologise if so. I can sort it out. Um, but yeah, I agree. I'll try. I'm really looking forward to this event. It's going to be really, really good. Uh, like gunner SA damage helps onslaught. Mm, not the best gunner. Not gonna lie. It's also broken. What's broken? But uh, yes, Alphatron, if you're uh, struggling in any way, you want any more advice, you can go and check out my Golden Lagoon videos. Listen, just stick them in the background while you're doing something. I know they are quite lengthy. I've tried to shorten some to about an hour long rather than an hour and a half. I've cut all the newsletters out and things like that out of it. And um, yeah, hopefully it can um, you know help some people. Um, Alphatron, I've almost every, I have almost every perk at level 50. What? Every perk? You haven't got all the perks though. Oh, right. I mean, okay. Okay, level 50. Okay, I've got you. i got you. Um, go for everything. See, I disagree. I wouldn't go for everything. I'd go for the things that you think are important. Yeah. Um, Zab Reapers, but uh, what about the Photon Beam? I get just just like, um, like Superions, I imagine. Just like Superions. I imagine. Um, <laughs> that's how it's put. I'm thinking of two bots I could do quite well in zone 15, but no, let's not discuss that. Yeah, I know the two bots are on about Atari. I really do. Uh, hey, everyone, everyone should know by now. Uh, obviously, it's Hot Run and Swoop. We know they can. The apes know they can, but hey, it doesn't matter. Um, but the point I'm making is that it's free to play, guys. Supposedly, it's free to play, so he's not calling it. So that means it's consistent two or three bots, multiple teams. So it's three bots, three bots, three bots, three bots. So maybe four or five teams that could do zone 15 consistently. I don't think there is such thing. I just can't see it. Who masters but you lazy resource farmer? My cup, my con all at rank 66 has more medals than you. Yeah, I, I did a lot of skank raids, I'm not going to lie. It's only since we brought in Titan XP that I've started doing medals. So I've gone from eight and 9,000 ish to like 11,000 in a couple of months. So, um, yeah. But you, you won't find a player as high as me with so little battles. I will guarantee it. I challenge anyone to show me a player that is in a top five alliance that has only done 42,000 battles. I will throw the gauntlet down. I don't think you'll find them. There you go. So the question you've got to ask is, first question you've got to ask is, why is my base not symmetrical? Because they're messing with it. Um, 
Second question you've got to ask is, how does he do that? Because I am super efficient with my leveling. Super efficient. I don't waste anything. I don't waste battles. Um, uh, Berserks, but the Titan tree doesn't seem to encourage choice as much as I thought. Just dump points to open you. Yeah, listen, totally agree with that. 100 million percent. I've also fed it back to the apes that what they should maybe do is increase the cost of some. And I know you might think, no, don't do that. But what that does is because you're putting points into one, it means you don't have to put them into the other one. Yeah, you might say it's wasting points as such. But some of the really strong ones, you can increase the cost maybe. And it means you don't have to unlock them ones you don't really want. I know you could probably say, well, I'd rather unlock that one cheaper and unlock that one as well. I'm not going to use it, but I might as well have it open. Yeah, I kind of get that, but it eliminates that. Even if it's just a, you know, an, a mirage of that you have a choice. Because right now, there is no choice. You don't have a choice. Literally, you're leveling that. Like it a lump it. That's what you're leveling. You know, you, you, it's very, it's more of a bottleneck. It's forcing you into that bottleneck. So, yeah. Uh, Berserk asks, uh, how leveled are your cons? It's kind of embarrassing. There you go. <laughs> level 10, level 1, level 1, level 1, level... You get the idea. But yeah. My top 3 star, level 10. Very, very low level. I do not use cons. I don't see the point in them. But yeah. Do not see the point. I do not level my cons at all. They can die a terrible, terrible, terrible death. My alerts aren't working. Oh, well, that's not... Oh, I, I'm going to sort that. I, I promise you I will sort out for the next stream guy time. But thank you for the donation. If you donated. Thank you. I will look into that. I didn't even know. It would have let me know earlier. I saw it earlier. I didn't even know, honestly. Um, uh, we better the level caps were more generous so you're picking out unique path to the tree. Totally agree. Yeah, we fed that back in testing to the apes. And again, the apes were like... Nope. That's not happening. Nope. So, yeah. And our DJ ha has uh, joined us. Speak of the devil. Thanks for joining us. Um, <laughs> Moon Master's put con Zen income 20 per week. No, not even that. <laughs> Chris Children's put nothing for Zen farming. What do you mean? What do you mean by that? Um... Pump a few of those through to at least that level tw for cheap player XP. Why have I not think of that berserk? You just literally just blew my mind. I'm literally, oh my days, yeah. I've said what well, I'll be honest with you. Well, no, yeah, I, I could do, but the problem is that I've, I've even got three stars I'm not leveled. Again, I'm super efficient with this, so four stars only and five stars. I made this decision a long time ago. Um, and yeah, I've got so many three stars like level one. So yeah, you can see there that they're all quite low. I've got broadside at oh level eleven. Oops. Yeah, level ten. You can see like I'm so I'm starting to level these for to get player XP up. But um yeah, a lot of them just like you see they look level thirty, but I don't even level them. Yeah. Well, I do zone fourteen for Zen with Omega Supreme. And I uh, hammer him. Uh, it was no tracked walls, and it's very easy. Um, and I do about 250k per week, and that's me being lazy. You know, if I do 10 battles, 150k, I only have to do 20 battles in zone 15, zone 14, sorry. 20 battles, zone 14, done for the week. So, yeah, it's quite easy to do. So, yeah, if you've got a maxed out Omega, um, you can pretty much, you know, do zone 14 with, with um, you know, good effects. But, yeah. See what my team's up to actually. So war team's got twelve minutes left. I'm not gonna hit that, but let's have a look. So yeah, so just a bit of reason why. So yeah, like I said, we put um we've gone for this. I can show you how to use my slash and sky burst in zone fourteen. So I said a lot of people don't don't fixate on uh zone uh, requirements it all depends on the team you've got um and individual bots that can solve that zone and do one well that zone 
and just typical we get a zone that um slash can't do so we're going to try and uh path this i think so let's get rid of this down here i'm going to try and pass pash <laughs> path slash upwards so titan's obviously going to help but we need to path slash upwards definitely so let's get rid of that will she go upwards she needs to go upwards yes she's going upwards yes she's going upwards that'll do let's get rid of that with a titan hopefully can we get rid of it no Let's see if we can pass. Pass. I keep saying pass. I'm not drunk. <laughs> Let's see if we can path slash upwards. No, we've passed. Passed. Oh my days. I'm talking like drunk. We've pathed slash downwards, and the sky has gone upwards, which is not cool at all. I think it's going to be a fail this one. I can't believe that I've had a massive success rate with this and then Sky Burst for the win. <laughs> That's how it's put. Path slash is a complex string of words. That <laughs> poll is put. Slash pathing should now be known as pash attack. <laughs> yeah, pash. Pash. Uh, cool. That's how you not do it anyway. Yeah. I love how in these streams I go, I'm going to show you how to do this. And then I do it and go, That's not how you do it. And then still win anyway, but yeah. Pashed, yeah. It sounds like something when you're quite drunk, but um, yeah. <laughs> I'm not you, Grant. I've seen your streams. I'm just saying. <laughs> I saw one of Grind Time stream once, and let's just say it, it had a, a couple of uh, smells to the barmaid's apron, let's just say. <laughs> okay, with this team, so what I'm trying to do is I want to path them both the same way away from outposts as well. So there's one outpost there. So we'll put them both this side. And then the Titan buggers me up by doing that, but hey, it's all right. There we go. Let him get up there first. There we go. Let him path up there first. Let him get up there. Let him get up. We can lose a bit of health because we've got a uh, sandstorm up there. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. Okay. Now we attack. Now we attack. And then we're going to do a heal bomb over there. We've got a stretch. Heal bomb on go fire. And then we hit that up with another heal bomb by doing the rushing. Then we do another heal bomb there. And then we do another rushing there. See there, go for his health, creep it up. There we do another heal bomb there. Blaster, uh, not blaster, Sunstorm is cleaning up. Face down. <laughs> ah, Matt Pauly remembers that stream. No, was it? It's water. <laughs> Grant says, I wish, wish he was patched right now. <laughs> there we go 11,000 medals whoop whoop so you've seen it 11,000 medals today so uh, let's see how long it takes to get to 12,000 um, hopefully by next month a few weeks yeah Matt Paul a few of the Aussie Nectars a few of the Aussie Nectars 
Is that a good impression? I don't know. Or maybe it's just just talk normal because apparently I sound Aussie anyway. So I should just say Aussie Nectar, and apparently that sounds Aussie. Maybe. But yeah, cool. Well, yeah, that's me pretty much ready for the Titan event. Uh, I've got all my team set. I've got my other team set. Wanna... So what I tend to do as well, I tend to just create more teams when I want to run my cells down to zero. So uh, my plan is for the first uh, day, I am going to hit it hard. Uh, Cup Lagooning with Laser Optimus in zone 15. Get him up. Uh, then I make, make a start on Red Alert and Slash, getting Slash to 40, getting Red Alert to close to 60, I think. Um, all in one day. All in one day. And then smash out about 25k points. That's my plan. Um, and then hopefully what I'm then going to do is, uh, after that then, I might even use two Cup Lagoons and maybe split it up. Um, if you're using one Cup Lagoon, then you're going to use coins for self regens which means you get less points. But if you're using two Cup Lagoons, you can spread it over two days, and then you can power level 10, wait three hours, power level 10, wait three hours. It's not as effective, but you can use a Cup Lagoon. I've got a, I've got a three, so I could probably use two over two days and do that. Uh, but planning to get 25k out of my Cup Lagoons, and then go free to play on the last day, and just smash out 10, 15k um, free to play maybe on the last day, and uh, make it nice and easy. But uh, yeah. Uh, Atari's put, don't forget to pull cups every day, of course, you don't have to pay energy on joint events, put Lagoon on. Pull cups every day, core? What's an every day, core? Oh, take it off, you mean? Don't forget to take it off. I've never been pull it as in, like, in a bundle, I was like, an every day, core? I've never heard of this every day, core, that you can get for cup. Is that your? Is that what you call G1 cores? Everyday cores? But no, what it means is, yeah, that's a good point though, guys. Listen, set your cup up today, uh, or at least tomorrow anyway, on Thursday. Set your cup up on the Thursday. Um, yeah, I'm going to take off uh, my five-star uh, top shot of blades, uh, put it onto cup, um, ready, and take everything off cup, ready for tomorrow. Take... Um, Laser Optimus uh, is caught cool off him, and then maybe even do a few more attacks to get some more energy on. So you can see that I'm maxed out now, ready for weekend, and we are all set. What's this? Ooh. Woo! Yeah! 400 coins, baby! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's my plan for this weekend. So like I said, guys, uh, I wish everyone good luck for this weekend. Uh, listen, if you are struggling in any way, hit me up in Discord. I'll be here in front of my computer um, doing my cup lagooning. Uh, I have Discord uh, online chat on one, on one screen. I have the game on the other side. I'm available this weekend, guys, unless I'm busy doing something. But um, I've got it on my phone as well. So listen, hit me up, guys. I don't mind in my server. Just tag me and say, hey, Wazza, I'm doing this. Whatever, I'm struggling with this. Whatever, uh, can you help me? And I'll see what I can do. Listen, uh, but if it's base design, that is quite, quite, quite you know, time consuming. If it's about, uh, you know, squads, again, that is quite time consuming. Uh, that's probably not going to get done this weekend, guys. It's, you know, pencil something in for some more time. Uh, but it's something where you want to quit better advice, especially with couple of gooning and zones and things like that, then, uh, you know, Hit me up in my Discord, guys, and tag me in there, and I'll always answer at some point. Um, it's just a matter of when, not if. I'll always answer them uh, replies, guys, and tags. But, uh, yeah, hope everyone does really well this weekend. I hope if you're trying for the five-star shards, you get them. If you're trying for the four-star part, I hope you get that. Uh, and I hope everyone really enjoys this weekend in terms of levelling. And, uh, you know, come and show me your shiny new bots in my Discord. The link's been in the chat. Uh... Come and join it and show me your bots, what you're leveling and uh, what you've done this weekend. Show me a four-star part. Let me know. But yeah, uh, don't forget to hit a like on the video, guys. And please don't forget to subscribe, guys. Honestly, it does not cost a penny to subscribe. Uh, still, people ask for this saying like, oh, how much does it cost to subscribe? It doesn't cost a penny. It literally doesn't. All it's doing is subscribing is uh, it means that when I go live, you get a notification saying I am live. And how I earn money from that is... Is you get a notification say I'm live, you go, oh, you know what? I'm going to watch uh, Waza. You watch the advert before it starts, and I make money off that advert. And it's pence every time someone watches it. But I've got to think that I've done 350 videos, so all these videos mount up, and that's how I actually earn money. So you don't pay anything. All you're doing is uh, watching an advert. 
by watching my streams. So, you know, if you watch the stream live, you watch it afterwards, it doesn't matter. But just hit that subscribe button, guys. Keep watching the videos. Obviously, like, um, you know, like people said in the chat already, make sure you go and check out Grind Time, um, DJ Arrow Heart, um, NJ Hoist, uh, and uh, Soldier, and all of other content creators. Uh, go and check them out, guys. All right. All right. Thanks to everyone for watching. Uh, I'll see you this weekend. I may do a stream power leveling this weekend, just sort of a play and chat. I might do it in Discord. I might do it on uh, my channel. Who's to know? We'll wait and see. But yeah, thanks for tuning in, guys. Good luck for the weekend and peace out, everyone.